Welcome to Live from KIG, located at 220 at South Peters Road, just up from Fantasy World. You know the address. 694-9788, March the 10th. Operators are standing by, fully staffed today, saving people money. Pay the KIG price and please pay no more. Welcome in, Mom. My only viewer so far, so hopefully we'll build an audience. <laughs> Chris, uh, shout out to my uh, color man, Chris Burleson, up there in snowy Detroit, Detroit Avenue. A1 Avenue. A1 Avenue. Uh, anyway, yeah. 8 Mile. That's 8 Mile, right? 8 Mile, yeah. Anyway. 8 miles are um, anyway, so welcome in, Chris. I know you're in a, in a meeting. Our, our uh, thing keeps falling down. It's all right. I know. Tape's all good. It's all good. Welcome in, Karen. Um, just one man. Just one man. Um, Again, six nine four nine seven eight eight. If we can help you out in any any way, uh, y'all saw my post that we I am been nominated for Visionary of the Year, which formerly known as the Man of the Year for uh, LLS uh, Leukemia. Uh, we have started. We're charging. We got about eight more weeks to go. Um, some dates and some other things will be posted. But uh, next week, March Madness starts. We will have a pool. Uh, if you're interested in getting an email to join the pool, it's a 50-50 payout. Uh, I think last year payout was about $20 entry uh, for about, I don't know, four or $500, depending on how many people sign up. But uh, also kind of put a um, mark your calendar. Uh, we're also doing a fundraising golf tournament May the 1st at Getty's View. Uh, so anyway, more more of that to come. But like I said, uh, Jack is our honorary hero of the year. Uh, so y'all seen him? That's my profile picture. Um, anyway, jump right into it. The baseballs. You know, was it Wednesday or uh, Tuesday or Wednesday night? Boston College rolled in here. It was a frozen tundra out there on the porch. Um, you know, they, they popped out four home runs on us. We, sh we wound up losing the game. We had a chance to, uh, in the bottom of the night, first guy up, ties the game. It's home run. The next guy comes up, has a triple with no outs, and we cannot get him in, and we wind up losing the game. Um, so hopefully, Tony, we got more head state. Uh, first pitch, 6.30 tonight. So hopefully... Uh, we can get this turned around. But, you know, as I said, we need probably lose a few games more than we did last year because we went had a great season, did not make it to Omaha. That is the end goal to win it all. Last year, Ole Miss lost almost 20 games, I think, and uh, wound up winning it all. So, baseball's a funny game. You don't have to win them all. It's when you peak. It's when you peak, exactly. Um, so, Moorhead State, 630 on the weekend. It's going to be a little... Cold and chilly, but uh, SEC tournament uh, has been going on. The Vols were victorious last night, yesterday afternoon, under Ole Miss. Hotty toddy, gosh almighty. They'll be home watching the March Madness because they are not going to be in there. Welcome in, Roy. Um, today we take on Missouri, which we got a little something for those Tigers. Uh, buzzer beater, heartbreak hotel at Thompson Bowling Arena about a month ago. I witnessed it. Um, couldn't believe it. Anyway, so we are we come out a five and a half point favorite. I say hammer it, as Luke says. Hammer it. The Vols are going to win. They're going to win big today. Three thirty is tip off there in Nashville. Uh, if we win that, chances are we're going to be playing Alabama, which is going to be a tough game Saturday um, if we do survive today. Um, but anyway, be that as it may. Uh, again, another live studio audience. Say hello, Brooke. Spencer. Hello. hello. Again, we don't have our color man, Chris Burleson, or Muffy, as uh, some people call him. They're up there in Detroit, snow, um, and uh, the glue that keeps the client whisper wanted us to talk about because she thinks I resemble in some ways. A bit, a bit. Um, the Murdoff. Double life sentence. She has compared. She's been watching this stuff, conspiracy theory, that he didn't do it. Well, 
12 people said he did, and I would say 90% of America thinks he did, but we'll have to get her one-on-one -on, -one on interview to get her take at a later date of what she, why she thinks I'm that... I'm not afraid of being the underdog. I think what I think. Well, you think what you think. Um, she thinks the mob's involved. She, th I mean, it's uh, conspiracies everywhere. But anyway, he's in the old heart, or the old iron, uh, what do they call that? The, uh... Anyway, he's in jail. We play the pen. The pen, the I pen. have some that are. The pokey? The po pokey pen, whatever. <laughs> we are way off track here. Again, I'm going to put a link in my, uh, in the comments to donate to our man of the year or visionary of the year. I'm running. We're going to win this thing. Bring it home. We're winners. Uh, winners win, and it's for the kids and for the adults in this case. Uh, but anyway, 694-9788 if we can help you out in any way. Give us a call. Have a safe weekend. It's going to be a little chilly, a little uh, brisk. Brisk, but be safe. Randall Crawford, thanks for joining in late. You have to go back and do the replay. Tiger Great. Go Vals!